I've got a new update on the Canon Hack development kit that I just wanted to share quickly. The previous method that I showed how to use involved using a card that was under 4 gigabytes. However, thanks to, I'm going to try and pronounce this, RVURL? That's totally not right. Or RVURL. URL. I don't know. Thank you to a YouTube user who commented on my CHTK video. He explained that basically to get the firmware upgrade option to show up you actually have to make sure that the lens is retracted all the way back in. And I didn't know this so when I was trying to get my firmware to upgrade it actually wasn't doing it because the option wasn't available because my lens was out. It's a very strange thing, but it was really good new information. And I've actually now got it to work on my 16 gig card, which means that there's no longer a restriction for me. And this is really great, so I just wanted to share the update. So thanks again to that YouTube user. So you follow the same basic instructions that I put in my original hack development kit video. So if you haven't seen that, if you just click back to it, it'll just explain that you need to check your firmware version and then download that specific version of the hack development kit. Then all you've got to do, just put the hack kit onto your memory card. You don't have to, if you remember on the other version, you had to slide this lock down. You don't have to do this on this one. So as you can see, this is a 16 gig card. This is a really good card, by the way, actually. It's a class 10, as you can see there. And I got it from Amazon for £10 for 16 gigs. So it's really good. So anyway, I've got the, um, put it the right way, got the card in there. But when I switch it on, you don't see the hack development kit. But what you do, you take a picture. So make sure you've got a picture on there. I accidentally took a 15 second picture, but hey. So that's my blank picture. Um, so once you're in playback mode, your lens should retract. If you want to get it to do this quickly, just go to menu, go to your last option, and towards the bottom, you've got lens retract, and you can either have it set to one minute or no seconds. Um, no seconds obviously will help speed up the process, otherwise you're going to have to sit there for a minute. So if you switch it to naught seconds, go back, and go into playback mode, your lens will retract straight away. I just heard mine do it. So after you've got to that stage, press your menu button, and then in this first option here, if you go down to the bottom, you've got firmware update. If you click that, it'll ask if you want to update from this version to the next version. You want to go for OK, press function set, and it basically then loads with the hack development kit. So you have to do this every time you switch your camera back on, but once you've done it, you've got your hack kit running pretty easily. There it is. So that was really great information, really helpful, and now I can run the, the hack on all my cards. So that's really great, and thank you very much for that information. I hope this helps other people, and again, if you're not sure how to find out which version of the hack kit you need, have a look at my other CHDK video and it'll explain it all there.